Watch. I don't think they're ready for this. What's up, guys? ID Mac here. Today's video, I'm going to show you the top five jailbroken apps to get through Cydia. And I'm going to show you a brief demo of each app. Um, these five apps, I believe, are the best apps you could get for a jailbroken iPhone. Now, um, they all they work on any iPhone or actually iPod Touch, and as long as you're on the 3.0 firmware. Now, I would actually jailbreak my iPhone for these apps. So if you have an unjailbroken iPhone and you never jailbroke before, and you want to know why people do it, now these are the top five apps I suggest you do it for. All right, so right away we'll start with number five. It's going to be the five icon dock. Um, as you can see, it's very useful because no matter what page you scroll to, you could have a designated five icons that's always going to be there. You could put, you could change them, of course, to anything you want. Now, to get it, you could you just go to Cydia, um, go to search, and then search for five icon. Type in F I V E and you should see five icon dock. Now click on that, install it, and there you have it. Okay, so as you can see, tap and hold and you can move it around like any other icon. Very simple, very useful. That's number five. Now the number four app um is gonna be emulators now I have here the SNES for iPhone and the Genesis for iPhone now these these emulators they all work you just gotta download your own ROMs um, you could go you could check out my video in my channel to tutorial how to install NES and ROMs on any iPhone and any iPod touch so you could check that out if you wanna Add ROMs into your, um, add emulators into your iPhone, your jailbroken iPhone. Now that's number four. For number three, it's gonna be categories. Now categories is an app that lets you put multiple apps into a folder, which has an icon. As you can see here in my tools folder. I have six I mean five apps that I put into it so you could make this is the category icon itself this is the app itself now you can make a folder for anything I made one for news and one for tools you put as many icons you want in it what you have to do is click add and you'll have a you can make any name and then they'll give you a list of icons they have several like a hundred icons so you could just put multiple icons for the folder or the category you want. To get categories, just go into Cydia and search for categories, or you could just go to the featured list and it's it's right in the featured packages. So that's number three. Alright guys, so the number two app is gonna be called Backgrounder. Now I put it in my tools folder. It's definitely going to be an icon on your desktop. The icon doesn't do much. It just shows you how to use it. Release notes, known issues. So, you know, I'll just tell you how to use it right now. Basically, Backgrounder enables you to run applications in the background so you could run multiple applications at once. Alright, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to open up Hot 97. Now, as you know, any app, once you, any music app, any internet radio app, you open. Once you press the home button, the music is going to stop playing. You're not going to be able to listen to it. So right now I have Hot 97 open. I'm going to press the home button. And as you can see, the app closed and the music stopped. Now I'm going to open up Hot 97 again. Press play. And now, to activate um, 
backgrounder, all you have to do is hold down the home button for two seconds until you see the backgrounder enabled logo. Right there. Now, backgrounding, backgrounder is enabled. As you can see, um, Hot 97 is still running and I can open up another app. So basically, you can open up more than one. Uh, I suggest you not open up too many because it does use up the iPhone's RAM, the memory. So just open up the ones that you need to use. Now to disable Backgrounder, it's going to be the same thing. Just go into the app you opened up and then hold down the home button. Then you're going to see background Backgrounder disabled. And that's it. Alright guys, so to get Backgrounder, all you have to do is open up Cydia. Go into um, press search um, and then type in backgrounder. B A C K G R O U N D E R. Now you should get this right here. Now I suggest you run only 3.0 because all of these jailbroken apps I put in the video. These top five are all compatible with 3.0, so make sure you click on this 3.0 only for Backgrounder. Click on that, and then you're gonna install it and confirm. Once you have that, then you'll have Backgrounder. All right, so let's move on to our number one app, jailbroken app. It's gonna be Winterboard, of course, because this is one of the mo main reason why people actually jailbreak their iPhones is to change the look of it and as you can tell my iPhone my iPhone I'm using a theme right now it's called iGlass Soul and to get that you could just um, go into uh, Cydia and search for the iGlass Soul the theme will come up and you could just download it but first to get Winterboard you're gonna have to go to Cydia you could either search for it or simply just go into the featured packages because it is a featured package so it's going to be right under boss I mean um, scroll all the way down and right under um, spring jumps so download that and once you have that you can start downloading themes now um, I like this theme in particular because as you see here, you can start with the home, I mean the lock screen. It has a custom slider and also a custom battery. And the keypad is also customized. Now all the icons are glossy and very glass-like. I guess that's what the theme is about, like a glass icons. And it does have a lot of icons as you can see Shazam um, Pandora is customized so so basically it's a cool theme the background is also changed um, so those are the top five applications that I feel are the most useful and why I actually jailbroke my iPhone now of course we can't forget about ultra snow and purple snow you know, the unlocks so that's another reason why most people jailbreak their phones is just to unlock their phones to use it on another carrier besides AT&T or whatever the main carrier in the country is so there you have it those are the top reasons top apps that I would jailbreak and if you like it you should jailbreak it too I have videos on how to jailbreak your iPhone 2G, 3G, or 3GS as long as you're on 3.0. Um, I also have the video on how to add uh, NES emulator on your iPhone. So you could check those out if you found this video useful. Uh, please comment, rate five stars, and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.